I would hate to think you are training your own Sith apprentice to destroy me. Never. My allegiance is to you and you alone. Then you must prove it. Eliminate her. Darth Sidious and Darth Tyrannus. On Asajj Ventress, Tyrannus was then contacted by Lord Sidious about his assassin, Ventress, and how she was becoming powerful. Sidious believed that Tyrannus was training his own apprentice and was planning to replace him. Tyrannus assured Sidious that his loyalty was to him alone. To prove his loyalty, the Sith Lord was ordered to eliminate Ventress. Tyrannus tried to convince Sidious not to do this, but he complied. Dooku then contacted Ventress at Sullust, informing her that he recalled her reinforcements. Ventress implored Dooku to help destroy the Jedi, but he told her that she was no longer his apprentice and that she would soon die. Dooku then contacted the tactical droid, TJ-912, aboard its destroyer and ordered it to destroy Ventress aboard the flagship. TJ-912 carried out Dooku's orders and informed him that she was dead. Dooku ordered TJ-912 to withdraw. Tyrannus then informed Sidious that Ventress had been destroyed, proving his loyalty to his master. Dooku then came under attack by Ventress and her fellow Night Sisters posing as Jedi at his palace on Sereno. Though his senses were dulled by their poison, Dooku was able to fight them off with his Sith lightning. The attempt on his life failed but Dooku never found out the identity of his attackers. Dooku was then contacted by Mother Talzan, who was aware of the loss of his prized assassin, who was of one of her night sisters. She then offered Dooku one male from her planet to replace her. Dooku took her up on her offer. 